Together, it's okay? It's okay. Together, okay. Two, it's, all cooked. Six. it's all cooked. It's all high quality cooked food already. We're just warming it up. All right. Name number six. All right, all right. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to a very special edition of Fun Rose Food. Right now, we are in Singapore. As you guys may know, 7-Eleven is the biggest convenience store chain in the entire world, David. We've done 7-Eleven videos in Seoul, Korea. We did one in Beijing, and now we are in Singapore. They localize very heavily to the region that they're located in. So we gotta check out what they got in Singapore that they might not have anywhere else. So this is 7-Eleven Singapore. Let's, Let's go. go. You know 7-Eleven offers such a vast variety of products. So we're gonna be breaking it up into sections. David, first we're gonna be attacking the chips and the drinks. Dave, we're only gonna get chips that you cannot find in America and that we haven't seen at other Asian 7-Elevens. Right. All right, so first off, the beef rendang potato chips. Beef rendang, one of my favorite dishes in the entire world. It's amazing, it's got so much flavor, I gotta try this. Hold on, hold on, I'm, I gotta look at these noodles. All right, Maggi Hot Heads Mi Goreng. Yo, Dave, does this count as dry? It counts. They did not, they don't even offer baskets here because they probably didn't think anybody was gonna buy this much stuff. If you guys do not know, one of the hottest flavors in Southeast Asia to sweep over the entire region of the last few years is salted egg yolk. The gourmet salted egg yolk potato right. ridges. I'm a fan of ridges on chips because they're crunchier. All right, I gotta compare with Irvin's potato chip. Irvin's does the flat potato chip. This is more like your classic Lay's. The salted egg yolk flavor, definitely stronger on the duck one, on golden duck. Really? I thought it was stronger on Irvin's. Salted egg crab. Um, this is really interesting because I, this, is this fish skin or is it tempura? This is just seaweed tempura. Uh, this is just seaweed. The crab flavor kind of comes at the end. Golden duck, salted egg yolk fish skin. I will tell you right now, this fish skin is humongous. Pretty fragrant, almost like a tea flavor. Less fishy than you thought? Yeah. This is the Irvin's fish skin. This, this one's smoother. Sweeter. You know what it is? This one tastes way more like pork rind. Overall, I think the Golden Duck ones have more flavor though. But I feel like this is high quality. This is higher quality, yeah. Yo, look at the mala fish skin, bro. This almost looks like tofu pee. Mm. I feel like I'm at hot pot right now, man. Really, I've got the Hainanese chicken rice chip. A little bit of ginger flavor from the ginger scallion oil. I give like, that a three out of five. I give that a three out of five. I'm with you on this. Rendang. I have high hopes for this, man. I thought it smelled a little stronger than it came off of. That, oh, your flavor got more chip. I give this a four. Yeah, Singaporean laksa. No, it tastes a lot like laksa. Yo, I might have to give that a four. Mm. Out of four, it's tied with the red dang. Malaysian truffle chips. This is a little OD truffle flavor. Yeah, I give that a 2.5. All right, I gotta give it a three. It's decent, it's worth a try, but I can't eat too many of those. The David, you were cream, excited about this. Sour cream kettle corn, man. It has that sour cream flavor with that hint of like sugary honey. I give this a 4.5 out of 5. Maybe. No, I, let I, me just give it the 5 out oh. of 5. All right, David, let's take a drink break, man. I guess you're supposed to freeze this and let it get slushy and then break it up. Pear lower sugar Sprite right here. I can tell that this was designed to be turned into a slushy because it doesn't taste that good not slushified. It tastes a little bit like when they mix in too, too much syrup into the uh, fast food machine. I see the potential, but right now I gotta give it just a straight three out of five. This one, the pear flavor wasn't that strong, but you know what I like? Because when I drink soda, sometimes I like it a little bit watered down. So I appreciate the low sugar. I give that a 3.5, I give this a three. Bottled Boba Battles, BBB. The key guys is they all have pearls at the bottom. They all have boba in them. One one milk tea. Yeah, those pearls are not regular pearls, right? They're more like the popping pearls. I thought the milk tea was cool, but I'm not, I'm not sure about those uh, pearls. I was gonna give the one one a one. We've got the polar brown sugar milk drink. Actually tastes a lot like brown sugar milk tea. So it's the same type of pearl, but I thought this one was way the better. The tea was much better. The tea was way stronger. And obviously I think if this is the type of boba that you can only provide in a bottle, then I live with it, but I give this a three and a half, man. Bubble milk tea. I'm giving this one a three. Grilled dried scallops. 
Some people are gonna like that more than dried squid. Yo, I give that a four out of five, man. 3.5 because I, I just thought it could have had a little bit more flavor. Okay. Like right. if they could have added a, maybe a seasoning on there. And these are chocolate banana chips. If you like banana chips, go for it. That's better than a regular banana chip. I'll give it a four out of five. I'm going with the three out of five. Guys, it's welcome funny. to the Milo section. Energy to go further. Milo, the official sponsor of Asian athletes. 50% less sugar virginator. Feel it. You can feel it heavy. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, the full sugar version tastes way better. Full sugar wins for this one, man. I'm gonna try this calcium plus one and see it. And I'm going to have uh, the Milo energy bar. I love the drinkability, the crushability of Milo. You can just down a whole can. I mean, I've never had a cereal bar that tasted like this before. I'm not gonna lie, I think the calcium version has a little bit more like calcium powder. Continuing with the video, we are moving on to the hot foods. And dessert. Hot We're gonna do dessert. Yeah. Hot foods and dessert. Hot food and dessert, guys. Immediately. Okay, pick it up. The, pr it. the prawn salad sandwich. Okay, David, I'm gonna be rolling with this pizza bar. It's a Hawaiian chicken pizza bar. It's this is like a, a pizza sandwich stuck inside a box. Or, you know, because we're in Singapore. This Nanya chicken rice dumpling. So this is like a Chinese zongzi. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, earthquake. earthquake. Let's not ruin this spot, dude. 7-Eleven is busting out the melted chocolate lava cake. I'm getting it. Oh yeah, what's, what's up, up man? man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're just doing a review of all this different stuff that we saw uh, found at 7-Eleven right now. Do you, do you eat at 7-Eleven a lot? Sometimes. Like, stop by. I eat mostly the uh, sandwiches. Okay. okay which sandwich what's you your favorite sandwich, man? Uh, the honey big one. Do you think it's sold out today? Yeah. Wow. Damn. So what's your, your plan B, out. man? So what, what are you going to eat? Like if you had to eat something, what are you eating for lunch? The pizza slice. <laughs> do, you, do you want to take a picture real quick? Yeah, yeah that's that's good. no problem. Can you just do a selfie and then we'll yeah, be in the bag? Show us getting seven eleven. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay. So this is on number eight. Alright, so we gotta take the wrapping off? Do we gotta take the uh, yeah. to take this part off? Just the the paper part. Yo, this is a six, so this is gonna be cooking for a minute. Together is okay? okay. Together, okay. Two, it's, all six. it's all cooked. It's all high quality cooked food already. We're just warming it up. These are the Singaporean zongzas, aka rice wraps. So the nanya chicken is a little bit sweet, a little bit barbecue flavored, and then the rice actually tastes like Hainan chicken. I give these a 2.5 out of 5 on both of them. Enter. The guy who works there, he was from the Philippines. Yeah. And he was shouting out these three things. Yeah. So this is the three seafood baked rice, the Thai basil chicken right here with a slice of egg. I'm gonna go in on the chicken chop. All right, I'm gonna go in, I'm getting the seafood cheesy rice switch with imitation crab. We got some little shrimp in here. Chicken chop, this is a favorite there at 7-Eleven. Dude, this tastes a lot like a dish that you'll get at one of those Hong Kong cafes. I gotta mm. say that seafood cheesy rice, if this, they had this in America, people would get it. You know, that pepper sauce is more peppery than some of those cafes. I give this for $3.90 a 4.5 out of 5. I might have to give this a 5 out of 5. No! Um, this baked rice, I give it a 3 out of 5. It's cool, but I'm just, it doesn't, it's too heavy. This is the Thai basil rice at 7 Eleven. That has a lot of flavor, man. Dude, these two dishes, get these two dishes. I give this a 4 out of 5. I give that 4.5 out of 5. Wow! Yeah. The chicken chop, Thai basil rice, get them. Guys, the pizza bars. Wow, look, you can stand it up just like that, like a tower. Leaning tower of pizza. I've got a Hawaiian chicken, crab and cheese flavor. It ain't bad. It's like sweet cheese. I don't really taste too much seafood flavor. Let me try this one. This one's definitely better. I give this a solid 3.5 out of 5. For that, 2.5 out of 5. This is a microwave slice of pizza in Singapore. It ain't bad, it's really sweet, almost like some fruit notes. All the pizza's really sweet. Yeah, really fruity. Here we got the chicken bulgogi wrap, and then we have this ham and cheese toasted garlic sandwich. Ham and cheese garlic toast. Heavy garlic flavor. Yo, the garlic toast is pretty good. You know what it is? This is what people should be doing now. Like, there should be a commercialized garlic spread that you just put on sandwiches at home. This is good, I give this a four out of five. Chicken bulgogi wrap, there was actually some kimchi inside. <coughs> oh, that's hot. If you want that Korean kick, uh, I would say this is a good choice. I give it a 3.5 out of 5. You took a second bite. I mean, geez, you can't. You can't say it's a 2. It's already reached past the 2 mark. You got me. <laughs> I'll give it a 3.5. <laughs>
Truffle bun, AKA mushroom bun. It's not bad. I give this a three out of five. I think the execution deserves a 3.5. For me personally, I'm not a fan of truffle flavored things. 2.5, like you said, this is the average three. Nasi palot I am. Wait, is there chicken? Wait, is there is chicken it? in this, Andrew? Don't tell me. Oh, okay, there is. Oh my gosh. There was a chicken patty at the bottom. Hey, this is chicken and rice, technically. It's not like a chicken thigh, it's a chicken patty. That's why they call it a uh, boneless chicken. Not amazing. Could use more pepper. Very light in flavor. The rice is good. The chicken patty, I'm like 50 50 on. It kind of tastes. Hold on. Don't like, say, don't like, you freaking say it, David. Like prison food. <laughs> it tastes better than prison food, I'm kidding. It tastes, uh, you know, it tastes like something that you would get at a hospital or something. I give it a three out of five. Yo, this is real shrimp. What'd you think it was gonna be? I don't know. I did not know that this is actually yeah, real cut I, yeah, shrimp. Look yeah, this. obviously, in it is true in America, people would feel very, very iffy, but these shrimp actually look super Th well cooked. No, I, I would say this doesn't look bad. They look barely ready. Prawn salad sandwich, 350. Uh, got a little brock in there, got a little brock. Plump, juicy, okay. Nothing tastes overdue, nothing tastes spoiled. Very fresh. That actually tastes a ton like coleslaw. I'm gonna give this 3.5 out of five. I'm gonna give it a four. David, we have Hanjuku eggs, which are soft boiled eggs in Japanese style marinade. We have AM brand chili tuna, okay. I want the roasted chicken mee goreng. All right, I will have the spicy goreng. I think I'm gonna need a soft boiled egg for this one. I'm gonna need a Hanjuku egg. Is it crazy that with this egg alone, you are turning your instant ramen to almost real ramen? This is the Maggie. Migoreng. That is legit. Yo, I gotta say the Hanjuga egg did an amazing job. All right. Okay. I gotta say the spicy tuna definitely added something to the spicy goreng. This roasted chicken migoreng is definitely spicy. But it could be spicier. I have uh, some I am chili tuna right here. We are being very Singaporean by doing this. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah? For me, I actually wasn't a a huge fan of this particular one. I give this a 2.5 out of 5. Considering you bought this gourmet ramen egg at 7 Eleven, I give that a 4.5 out of 5. Andrew, this is boba flavored pearl milk tea Swiss roll. Is that the new tiramisu? Wow. Is that the new tiramisu? I like that better than tiramisu. Oh my god. I do. But I could have used even more boba pearls. I think the boba pearls added a lot um, when I was able to get one. Oh my god. I give this pearl milk tea. Swiss log, a four out of five. You know, for me, every time I like something that is like boba flavored, I gotta give it a five out of five. Chocolate on chocolate sandwich. I'm giving it a four out of five. Yeah, pretty I was solid. Say four out of five as well. Pretty solid. Ending off, we have the 7 Eleven, and you know you have to get it because it's 7 Eleven brand. This is the lava cake, chocolate lava cake from 7 Eleven. I like it because uh, I like brownies a lot. Chocolate lava cake from 7 Eleven. Richness wise, it's a high level. You know where you know where it's losing points. It's it's a little weak in an area. But what area is that? The brownie cake. <sighs> a little spongy, a little, a little soggy. The middle part is good. It's pretty good. It's good. It's pretty good. I give it a 4.5 out of 5, actually. Thank you so much for watching that video. But just to let you know that we did not just eat fast food while we were out in Singapore. We are here at No Sign Board with the squad. This is one of the highest rated and most famous chili crab spots. I'll show you a little bit more food. Watch this. We got the white pepper crab. You definitely taste the white pepper. You get the crush in a good, manageable way. You're right. That white pepper flavor slaps you. Immediately. I like it better than that that like crab you be getting at the uh, weddings. That's chili crab. Yo, this crab almost looks like a cartoon. Call me. One piece. That's good. That wraps it up for that Singapore 7-Eleven video. But shout out to No Signboard because you know we had to end off our trip on a really, really, you know, good note. So shout out to Singapore, shout out to Culture Cartel. So next time we out, peace.